Hi, I wanted to, uh, to give a little bit of information about how to write a uh, best man speech or a uh, maid of honor speech even. It's, it's pretty much the same. Um, what I'm going to give you is a little information about the fundamentals of structuring your speech and then some quick pointers in actually presenting it. Uh, the first thing that I'll say before anything else is that you want to keep it within a certain time span. Don't go off on a 10 minute rampage. It may be funny to you and may sound important to you as you say it, but really, everyone in the audience is bored. And half the time, some of those speeches are so full of inside jokes that maybe three or four people in the audience, 10 max, are even understanding what you're saying. You want to grab your entire audience and you don't want to leave anybody out. You want to throw a little bit of humor in, but in the end, you want to give a nice rounded summary of either the bride or the groom, whether you're the best man or the bridesmaid. So let me talk more first about time before I get into the fundamentals on my computer about writing your speech as well as presenting it. So time is really crucial and super important. Your audience is going to lose the majority of their attention within the first three and a half minutes. So you don't really want to go beyond that. I would say five minutes tops, four minutes is highly recommended between the three minute and four minute mark. So aim for that, and if you go a little bit above or a little bit below, you won't have to worry much about it. You'll still be within a pretty good range. So let me jump to my computer now, and I'll show you a few of the steps. Okay, let's jump right in here. You'll see right off the bat that I have the introduction, a body, and a conclusion. You'll notice that from high school and college, uh, the speeches you had to give, the essays you had to write. Um, put aside the nostalgia for now. Um, I know it brings back bad memories for me too, but let's move on. Uh, remember that as your uh, it is your job as a uh, best man to give an image to the audience of who he is. So no matter what uh, heading you're under, whether introduction, body, or conclusion, you're going to try and give as many stories and, uh, and descriptions of who he is um, as possible. <clears throat> so let's head up with introduction first. And uh, um, the first thing you're going to start with is the simplest. Um, you're just going to say who you are. You can say your name and, uh, and then just your relation to the person, whether the, it's the groom. You know, you say, uh, my name is Joel and I met this dude uh, when I was a little kid. And, uh, or maybe um, uh, my name is Joel and uh, I've known this guy only for a couple of years. Uh, but we've become real close and we're like brothers now. You get the picture. The second part you're going to uh, expound on a little bit more. And that is how you met. Uh, so tell a quick story. Um, it, this part of uh, your speech shouldn't take very long. This is maybe 30 seconds, and this is just warming up, okay? And the shorter this is, the more time you have for some of the other good stuff, the juicier stuff, um, especially if you have a story that you absolutely want to fit in. Um, save room for that. So the how you met part is, uh, is hey, this is what happened when I first met this guy, or this is when uh, we really got close was after this happened. Tell a funny story. Tell a story that maybe, you know, especially if it encapsulates who the groom is to you. That's really good. If you can remember or if something like that happened, um, that is just going to be gold. And because anyone in the audience who knows the groom will identify with what you're saying and they'll get a really good laugh out of it. So it's, it's going to be gold. Um, the next part is the body. And uh, that kind of correlates with the previous how you met. Um, you're going to describe the groom. Uh, and maybe your how you met story actually ties right into describe the groom. In fact, that's ideal if it does. So describing the groom, you're going to give a little bit of the personality. You might say something like, uh, you and I both know that this guy is crazy. Let me tell you a story of when we jumped off the roof. Don't tell something super embarrassing, okay? Telling something really embarrassing, just, I mean, who knows who that person has told. Maybe he's told nobody, the groom, I mean. The groom maybe doesn't want anyone to know that and now you've embarrassed him in front of his brand new wife who maybe never heard the story either and now they're gonna go off after the wedding and instead of having fun uh, she might end up being mad at him or uh, uh, questioning about whatever it is that you've said about him. Maybe you say he's a liar. I don't know why you would but don't do that kind of stuff. Um, anyways, the next part you want to do is introduce the bride. 
Uh, if you don't really know her too well, you might skip this part. Um, especially if there's been distance between you and, and them for a long time. Uh, you might try and uh, introduce a little bit about um, what you think of her, even if it's only been for the last uh, couple hours, uh, getting to know her as you put the wedding together or when you flew in and, and things like that. Anyways, that might just be a really small part. Um, but you want to make sure you incorporate part of her into your speech. Not a whole lot. Remember, the focus is on the best or on the uh, groom here. Sorry. Um, so focus on the groom, but you want to incorporate them both together. Don't exclude her. The second part is my favorite part, and this is where the stories can really come out. Because when a guy meets a girl he really likes and wants to marry, he is smitten. And, uh, and all kinds of fun things happen, and he does all kinds of crazy, ridiculous things and acts uh, a lot like a 10-year-old or a 12-year-old um, or maybe even a 14-year-old who just met the first girl he ever liked. Um, and all kinds of crazy things happen. Um, I have some weird stories uh, uh, of friends of mine um, that ended up getting married, and, and I remember the, the way that they reacted when they came home from their first date with that person. Um, just really good stuff and you really want to include that because uh, uh, that's going to make everyone laugh. Uh, it's going to make the bride and the groom look at each other with that um, mushy face, you know, and they're going to have those eyes and uh, it's going to add to the moment. Remember that the wedding is about love and so you're going to add to that and not subtract from that. You're going to want to say things that bring them closer together, that you're going you're gonna to build um, the bride's faith in the groom. You, you want to nurture it. You don't want to destroy it. And a lot of stories might do that. So um, just be cautious of that. For the conclusion, you want to recap. Um, you might want to say something uh, about how you feel uh, regarding the both of them uh, together. Uh, the bride and the groom. Um, maybe you think that they're going to do really well. Well, tell them why. Tell a story of why. Something that they did together that really shone um, how, uh, I want to use the word synergetic, um, but that just is, uh, as how well they do together, um, as being better than what they are like alone, um, how their strengths build on each other and they become like a super duo. <laughs> um, so give a nice recap and tie it up. Um, in the end, say something, if you can, a little bit clever. Uh, this is a this is the part where you want to incorporate incorporate both the bride and the groom once again. Um, say you know he's a great guy, she's a great girl. Um, together they'll be awesome people. Um, anyways, the point is is you want to just finish on a nice note that people remember um, and people can reflect in in a positive way. Um, not only uh, about you, but um, especially about the groom and, uh, and also the bride. So it's really simple, the introduction, the body, conclusion. I'm going to, uh, to make a little um, uh, a note of all of these things in the description so that you can uh, copy and paste that yourself or print it out if you want. Um, uh, for giving your speech, um, it's pretty much simple. You want to talk nice and slow. You want to give um, a, a very clear speech. Um, I tend to talk faster in these videos because I, I want to crunch as much of, of what I have to say into a, a shorter video. So I say this stuff really fast sometimes and I get really excited because um, I like this kind of stuff uh, too as well. But <clears throat> Um, remember that you want everyone to hear what you have to say. Um, you want to be kind and positive. You want to um, you want to bring the bride and groom closer together through your speech. And there's one thing that I just have to say a hundred times. Um, it's harder to do um, than it is to say. Uh, I know it's nerve wracking even for me uh, when I write a speech um, to do this. But you need to practice. You really, really, really need to practice. When you go up there, um, uh, you're going to be nervous. And if you haven't practiced it, um, every time you practice, let me just give you this little bit of information. I'm, I'm a psych major and graduated, and so I, I can't help but stray. Uh, I can't help but um, <laughs> say some of these things. Uh, but it's going to be a small rant, so you can just end the video now if you need to. 
But when you practice a speech, you're creating neural pathways, okay? And so the more you give that speech, the more neural pathways you're making so that if at any time when you're giving the speech in front of people, your brain already has paths laid out that it can walk down. Um, let me give an example. Let's say a water slide, okay? If you're just sliding down a wet hill, you don't know which way you might go. In fact, you might get stuck somewhere. You might just stop. But if there's a gouged out groove in that mountain and the water is going just down that groove, well then you know where you're going to go. You're going to successfully make it to the bottom of the hill and it's going to be a fun ride. Well. It's the same thing inside your mind. Practicing it makes that groove so that you can slide through your speech. Trust me, it's worth it. You may think that you are some um, suave kind of guy and can get up there and uh, give this incredible speech uh, improv um, and, and, and hats off to you if you can. Um, but I'd say the 95% 95%, uh, 95 of people out there cannot do that. I know I cannot. Uh, so practice. Um, everyone in the audience will know you've done that and that you've cared enough um, to give a good speech. Okay, uh, that's it. That's all I have to say for uh, say to you. Um, good luck to you, and uh, I hope everything goes well. Let me know how your speech writing goes. I'd love to hear feedback.